issue of debentures. Debentures may be issued for cash. Debentures may be issued for consideration other than cash. So if a company were to buy another business or purchase some assets, instead of paying cash, they may issue debentures. <coughs> debentures may also be issued as collateral security. So we will discuss each of these scenarios one by one. Let us first take debentures issued for cash. Debentures may be issued at par, premium or discount. Which means if the just like in the case of shares, if the face value of the debenture is rupees 100, it may be issued at rupees 100, that is par. It may be issued at rupees 110, that is issued at a premium, or it may be issued at rupees maybe 95, which means at a discount of rupees 5. This is a premium of rupees 10. This is at par. When a debenture is issued for a premium, it means you issue a debenture with a face value of 100, but we get rupees 110. The 10 rupees securities premium, it's called securities premium, just like the premium on equity shares is also securities premium, and that is a capital profit. So issuing debentures at a premium, the securities premium is a profit for the company. When debentures are issued at a discount, it means a 100 rupee debenture is given to the debenture holder. But we get only or raise only rupees 95. So that rupees 5 is a loss. So premium is a capital profit. Whereas discount is a capital loss. Discount on issue. At the time of issue of debentures, the terms of redemption are also specified. So redemption would be at a particular date, after a particular period of time, and such redemption again may be at par, at premium, or at a discount. At par would mean that a rupees 100 debenture is being repaid for rupees 100. If a debenture is being redeemed at a premium, what does it mean? It means that a debenture with a face value of say 100, the debenture holder would be paid, the company would have to pay the debenture holder say rupees 110 if the premium on redemption is 10%. So the company pays more than the face value, repays more than the face value of the debenture. That would be a loss. So premium on redemption becomes a capital loss. Similarly, if redemption were at a discount, this does not normally happen in practice. A 100 rupee debenture would rarely be redeemed for 95. But suppose it were, what does it mean? That a 100, a, a debenture with a face value of 100, the company would repay only 95. Therefore, this is like a profit for the company since the company has to repay only 95 against a liability of 100. This becomes a profit, a capital profit. So if you notice, premium on issue is a capital profit, but the premium on redemption is a capital loss. Similarly, a discount on issue of debentures is a capital loss because a debenture of 100 rupees is being issued for only 90. On the other hand, if there is a discount on redemption of debentures, that discount would represent a capital profit. Since at the time, the terms of issue itself 
contain how the debentures are going to be redeemed, whether at par, premium or discount. We often make provision for loss which we expect in future. We consider these terms of redemption at the time of issue itself. We will discuss this in a while. But at this point, let us also quickly understand underwriting commission since an issue of shares or an issue of debentures is usually underwritten. Who is an underwriter? Underwriter is a person who guarantees that the issue will be fully subscribed. What the underwriter says is that this issue will be subscribed, fully subscribed and if it is not fully subscribed, then the underwriter will take the shares or the debentures, whatever security is being offered to the public, which is not taken by the public, will be taken up by the underwriter. Therefore, he guarantees that the issue will be fully subscribed. For this, he charges a commission. For taking on this risk of uncertainty, the underwriter gets a commission. As per the Companies Act, the maximum amount of underwriting commission for issue of shares is 5%, while for debentures, it is 2.5%. So, underwriting commission should be lower or equal to 5% for the issue of shares but lower and equal to 2.5% on an issue of debentures as per the Companies Act. With this information, let us look at the accounting entries for debentures when they are issued at par, premium or discount and also contain the terms of redemption.